and welcome to Fountain of Youth TV. Today we're going to be making our own version of Olaf, except this is for in our classroom or you can do this at home with your children. It's a wonderful way to teach the three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas, in a really fun, interactive way. And so today, if Rox will pan over here, we're having not only our Valentine's Day celebration, thus the shirt with the hearts, but we're also having our frozen party. And the reason why we call it our frozen party is, yes, we're going to be, it's winter time, and we're trying to celebrate the season of winter, but we're also going to be watching um, the movie Frozen, and we're going to be writing about the beginning, the middle, and the end, and about the characters, and all the setting, and so forth. But then, at the same time, we're going to create our Olaf. And so, and that's going to be teaching, again, the three states of matter. So what we did is we filled up three balloons, three different sizes. This will be the bottom, the middle, and of course the head. And then we put them in the freezer for two days, so that they're really solid, really, really solid. And then, the next step we do is we peel off the, rubber, the, uh, the balloons. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? And it's perfect because, because of how they're sitting, it makes it flat, so he's going to sit nicely. I'm going to put him in a pan like this. The reason why he'll be in a pan is because as he's melting, we're going to be predicting. I've got sheet worksheets where the children are first going to predict what's going to happen. Now this is kindergarten, and so it's really quite a big uh, undertaking, but they can do this. And uh, I did it last year in my class, it was wonderful. So then what we're going to do is we're going to undo each of the, the balloons, and we're going to measure the water, and, and so again you're doing measurement, and we're going to talk about that it's solid, it's hard, and then as the day goes on, he's going to be melting, and uh, then he turns to a liquid, and then to get it turned to a gas, I have a small little burner that I use in my classroom, and we'll kind of show you throughout the day how it goes, and uh, it's just kind of a fun thing, so we're going to show you once we've got together, in between each of the, la the layers, we put salt, and the salt is gonna to help to just almost start to melt, but yet to bond all the pieces together. So here's what we do. We take the salt. And the flat part where it was sitting in the, in the when it was before it froze, it sits on top. It's amazing how it just stays. And he's already starting to melt. You can already see he's kind of sliding around. And it's just before the students arrive, so. And so there's our snowman. Going on, my students are overwatching Frozen, Your Majesty, and we've been doing a lot Duke of, um, of talking about characters and setting and uh, cause Majesty. and effect. And everything's going on this day, very, it's very entertaining. But now we're looking over at what's been happening. We've been kind of looking at how it's been melting. They've made their predictions, and we've talked about the three states of matter. You can see that there's quite a bit of water already in here. Felt staying on pretty good. Okay, so now because it's in a school day, we have to expedite the whole process to get us to the gas state. So now we're going to have to take our Olaf and move him into a pan, which is going to be on So this will go here. Okay, if you're at home and you're going to do this with your children, you can just let it melt and just until it's totally gone, and then pour the water into a pan and then boil it so you can get to the gas state. But because we only have so many hours in a class day, a school day, <laughs> well, we do have to expedite it. So now we're going to move our oil. Especially for our man and he's so nice. I wish he could be like this all the time. Me too. Oh, I wish he could. But he can't. Well, why not? I just can't. the heat. start to melt faster and we'll come back in about an hour and see where we're at. So my students are now at specials or library and Rox, come on over here, you'll see that he's melting nicely. 
Okay, got a lot of water going in there. So I'm just going to kind of help it along. Again, if you're at home, you wouldn't have to do this unless you did want to expedite it, but I'm just going to kind of help him go into the pan. Probably going to have to add some of the water over here, but we will at the end, um, before it, it goes into the evaporating state, I'm going to probably, I'm going to put it into this pan and we're going to measure the, how much water they predicted, how much water they think is going to be in the pan. And so we're going to kind of do some more predicting with that. Then we'll put the water in it. We'll, and I want, I'm probably not going to put all of the water in. I just want to put some water so they can at least see the water vapors coming up and they can experience seeing it going up into the air for the evaporating process so they see the particulates and they understand. So they will notice the solid, the liquid, and then the gas. It's something that they really will remember and this is just really bringing it to life. So we'll check back when it's going to be into the water vapor gas state. So Ola has melted now. Come on over here, Rod. You can see he's all, all his little felt pieces are all in here. And we can recycle those, just dry them out for another time. And now we're just going to pour this water into here. And then we're going to measure how much water, how deep we think it's going to be. So we just poured all the water into the pan, and then we're going to measure how much water is in here and go to our predictions and then we'll pour just a little bit we're not going to pour all the water in here again because we want to just be able to get the the, um, the evaporation process going and so just a little bit of water and then the children can see the, the vapors coming out of the pan and then they will have experienced the solid the liquid and the gas so i've already had my students over here and they um, come over to see how we've gone from the solid to the liquid and now they're seeing the water vapors coming out of the pan as we've applied the heat. And they were so amazed to see it. They were like, oh, and you could see the light bulb moment, that, that aha moment where now I get it. I, I see all the water vapors and they were able to kind of feel, I had them put their hands up here and feel the moist air, realizing that Olaf has gone from a solid to a liquid and now Olaf is going up into the air and dissipates like it would if it was outside and or in a puddle and it goes up into the air into the clouds and so a real aha moment for children and it's something that they'll remember you've got to be able to they can read about it all they want but when they experience it this is this is truly learning so implement this either at your home uh, with moms dads grandparents and teachers if you're watching as well put this into your uh, classroom it's a great fun activity and uh, it can be done so again thanks so much for joining us here on fun of youth tv and we'll see you next time bye-bye